So hi. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am out here in California uh, with Kelly from Prince Lionheart, uh, and we've just been like running around, and uh, we're, we'll start like we we have this all kind of planned out what we're gonna do, um, but it's really just to talk about like the company and some stuff that's happening at ABC. Uh, that starts technically tonight. We're driving to Vegas from here. As soon as this is over, <laughs> we have to haul our butts to Vegas. Um, but this is the office of Prince Lionheart, and this is my first time out here, and I've known Prince Lionheart since I started at Bye Bye Baby. Um, year, 12 years, 12 years ago at Bye Bye Baby, that's insane. Um, but introduce yourself, like talk about like your role in the company, which is also actually your role in the family. Right. Um, and just kind of like... So I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you all. Um, Prince Lionheart's actually 44 years old, so mm -hmm. predates Jamie's Bye Bye yeah. News by a fair Predates bit. me as a human. <laughs> yeah, me too. Only by a few years. <laughs> Only by a few years. Right? Um, so... Yeah, so we, we actually started, my parents started Prince Lionheart in my grandparents' garage in 1973 in Glendale, California. So... Uh, they started with uh, wooden rocking horses that my dad, uh, he had 400 bucks and decided he didn't want to work for anyone, he wanted to be his own boss. So he went and bought a bandsaw and some materials and he cut um, the wood and then my mom hand decorated it. So I was just telling Jamie this morning that in my office I have one of the original wooden rocking horses, which yeah, lift that up. is this bad boy. This is her original rocking horse and this is how Prince Lionheart started. Yeah, back in grandma and grandpa's horses. Garage. Now, my brother has a barrel-chested horse, which uh, my dad, I, I mean, I hand it to him because, I mean, it's a barrel-chested horse that he cut each slat and managed to get really? it. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then I had the paint horse, but my mom hand-tied all this sisal. I, I hardly touch it, though my son and my nephew, they come and they still ride yeah. it. <laughs> but, I mean, this is old. Yeah. This is old, because I'm old. No, we're not old. <laughs> it's We are not old. We are young. We are. We're young, but but this is old. So the horse yeah. is old. We're young. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So this is we my office. It goes backwards. It's a, it's a reminder <laughs> of our roots, our humble roots, and we have been manufacturing in California since 1973. Yeah. And we're gonna show you like the warehouse and the manufacturing stuff. Like it's pretty cool. And like we we've done the tour already this morning. And what I told her is like I get I always get interested when I get to visit like headquarters and warehouses. But everything here is very clean. We try. Which is nice. Yeah. Like sometimes you go in warehouses and it's dirty yeah. and it's filthy everywhere. Like it's a very clean facility. Well, especially here. manufacturing facilities. Yeah. Where I was telling yeah. Jamie that some of them you walk into and it looks like they've taken chains and beat the machines. Yeah. And, and you, I mean, these machines down here, you'll see in a minute, but like they've been here since what? Since 90s? 91. And, and the they look, angle they look brand new. say they look brand new. I mean, we wax them like cars. We take pride in everything. And my dad always yeah. says he was always inspired by UPS. We run the tightest ship in the shipping business. That's what he always wanted to make sure that our manufacturing facility, because we say the love is in the details. Yeah. And so it's down to, you know, if your machines are dirty, that doesn't yeah. bode well for your product. No. So, so we, we, we take pride in everything no. we do. I worked so. at an, I, this is complete side note, but I worked at an ice cream factory yeah. years ago in high school, like one summer or like my first year of college. And it was crazy because like in an ice, this doesn't have anything to do with this story, <laughs> but the ice cream factory, because of the nature of, the ice cream melting, there's actually water that runs across the floor. So it catches drip off to keep it clean because you don't oh, want wow. sticky sweet ice cream and like, you know, getting hot and sticky and like right. possibly flies or whatever. So there's always water running across the floor oh, in wow. ice cream factories. But Bluebell ice cream, for those of you who know Bluebell, it is one, it is so clean, and I didn't work at Bluebell, but it is so clean as a facility. It is the only ice cream factory with, at the time with a dry floor. Oh, really? Because they didn't, they never worried about runoff. It oh, was wow. so, so clean. See? So, yeah. It makes you want to eat bluebell ice cream? <laughs> it does. And lots of things make me want to eat bluebell. <laughs> like, whatever. Uh, so, this horse is blue. old, but also, let's talk about your shirt. Oh, this is old, too. Mm -hmm. Remember, we aren't old, but this is, uh, we're surrounded by old stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, this was uh, my mom's shirt. And this is one of the original Prince Lionheart logos, which has morphed. Um, actually, one of the, Funniest stories. I mean, it's how it was like horse trading, you know, 1973, which was a long time yeah. ago. Um, my dad and mom traded their Datsun pickup for the Prince Lionheart logo that is the Prince Lionheart logo today. Um, it was a, a British guy who they didn't have any money, 
So they said, hey, can you do a logo for us? We'll give you our truck. <laughs> right? Really? Yeah. And so that is the logo that we have today. We've made it a little bit, you know, friendlier with kind of like rounder eyes and yeah. stuff like that. But that's our, our, our corporate logo. That's hysterical. Yeah. I say corporate. I use the term very loosely because yeah. there's nothing corporate about me. <laughs> no. No, there's not. <laughs> nothing. No. Nope. Not so much. No. Nope. <laughs> Um, so this was my mom's shirt, and I'm a, I'm into recycling. Yeah. So I still wear it with pride. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So we've come full circle. You multi-use, which do. that will come full circle later when you see the new thing that they're launching. That we're gonna show that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're, yeah. 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 Um, so we get to see and that. And even it comes full circle in our warehouse because yeah. even though we produce plastics here. Um, I actually want my son to see polar bears, so we use recycled material wherever we can, and we actually recycle our own regrind and then incorporate it back into our products. Yeah. So like our, our dishwasher baskets, which you know my dad invented yeah. back in the 80s, is made out of recycled yeah. material. So also, let's talk about these dishwasher baskets really quick. Um, they have the nipple on the bottom, yes, and then the other parts on the top. And the reason the nipples are on the bottom, and I kind of think about this when I load my cups in my dishwasher, right. like what will be below the cups right. if you have to have access, so exactly. you can't put giant glass bowls in the bottom, right. you know. Right. But with the the baskets, the nipples are in the bottom because that's where the water jets go to clean the nipples. Which is of, super important to clean. Yeah. But moss, kind of. We all tend, to, <laughs> yeah, kind of. But yeah. we all tend to uh, jam the bottle collars and you know the caps and whatever big parts into the chunky part, mm -hmm. which means the nipples don't, don't get clean. Get clean. If on the top part of the basket. Yep. So it's all with thought. You know, love is in the details. But Smart. We try. So what else is, um, we're going to bring this thing up in a second. So was that like two months, it's a couple months a back, months, yeah. we yeah. did a video with their twister, their diaper pill. And I always test diaper pills, I told her this morning, with gross food and like shrimp. I always throw them in the diaper pills and keep them for a few days and like see if it works. Obviously the twister's very good. But they have this repugnant um, <laughs> experiment going on Brilliant here. I'm, I might have to get away from it because you already tried. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try I, I almost threw up in my mouth. I almost threw up in my <laughs> mouth. So um, bring that over here for a second. Um, oh, it's uh, full, I, of, full of diapers. Um, my, uh, yeah, so I, we're going to try to make Jamie And it doesn't smell. Out. I cannot smell anything right now. Look at me. I mean, I don't um, smell this thing at all. You can't. No. Um, how, how many poopy diapers are in there? So we have uh, 22 poopy diapers that are uh, size threes and fours. That and how long has it been sitting here in this uh, warm office? Uh, yeah, California second story warm office, mm -hmm. that one, since July 14th. 22 poopy diapers since July yes, in here. I, I've been sweating my face off, but she, um, I've been cultivating a stew. Bleh, she came <laughs> over here, she came over here and when we were up in the office earlier, she opened it up because she wanted to like check the status of the diapers once the, the lid stew. was up. The stew. And what, what words did you, and moist does moist. not bother me as a word. She said it's like moist, moist heat. Because as diapers, the poop ages, you have to remember oh. it's like methane gas yeah. and it emit, it, like it's disgusting. So she sat over there and was like opening it up and looking at it. I'm over here trying not to vomit. Yeah. Like I got, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just the idea makes me so sick. It makes me so sick. <laughs> try to get him to vomit his mouth, but it is. So but I can't so, smell anything so no, no, right now. Nothing, I can't yeah. smell anything. It's just the idea. It is the idea of this. Just sitting in there since July. <laughs> there are 22 poopy diapers in this twister. They've been in here since July, and it's warm and. She opened it before this whole video went live. She opened this and was like trying to smell and like dig inside and see what was up. I was over here trying not to vomit um, <laughs> because she said it was moist heat and that's disgusting. Not, not in like when you want moist heat, it, it's a good thing, but moist heat with poopy diapers is not something you'd like yearn for necessarily. It, it's good in our wipes warmers, but not yep, so much in our diaper pills. That's, but I can't smell anything. No. And there's a bucket of poop in here. <laughs> Moist, Just warm a poop. bucket of poop. Um, so yeah, what else? Shall we? What? I don't, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna remove the lid. This is what I did before when Jamie was across the room. Right now you're really bold. Um, so I'm actually opening the, the twister by stepping on it. Oh my God, it's warm coming out. I, I'm not even getting, I'm not <laughs> even getting close. I'm sticking my hand down there. 
it's warm and moist, and I do smell it in there. It's very, it's very potent, but it does not smell out here. But it is moist and warm. <laughs> in there. It's so gross. Okay, I'll remove it from you. Let me put this on. Good job. No, I'm gonna this. But it, it, it's, it's a sauna in there. But it that's smell. disgusting. Um, but that's called product testing. <laughs> um, Real. So, um, do you want to like walk downstairs now, or yeah. like anything else you want to talk about up here? We can also talk while we walk. We can. Why don't we? Yeah. Why don't we do that? Let's talk and walk. Yeah. I'm also I'm out of my coffee, which is just. The, the, what's it called? A Trent? It's a Trenta. Trenta. Mm -hmm. Third time's a charm. So this is <laughs> Kelly. I'm behind. We're. It's called makeshift video right now. <laughs> Because the live signal is not working. So where are we, Kelly? We're at Prince Lionheart, and this is right outside my office where we were just chatting on the couch. This is our manufacturing facility. So you see the green and yellow machines, which are injection molding machines, uh, which makes all of our diaper depots and our dishwasher baskets um, and organizers and stuff like that. And then in the way back, there's a thermoforming machine, which makes packaging. Uh, and then beyond that is a thermoset machine that makes a compression molded rubber products. And then over in the corner, we've got a CNC machine, which kind of pours out some of the, the tools that we use. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we've been producing since 1973 in California. It's really important to our family. We figure if we make it in America, we can all make it in America. And uh, so much so that we actually make for other companies as well. Uh, yeah, and I had no idea about yeah. that. No, it's cool because, you know, I, we, we want people to be able to yeah. bring stuff back home. And you have the facilities here. We and if you're not using it right. at the time, why not let if other have people have access? We open machine time. We yeah. do stuff uh, for medical products companies, fitness companies, um, growers, because we, we're in the side salad of here in Santa Maria Valley. Um, so we do things for growers and, and all kinds of companies, construction companies, lots of different things, uh, which, which is really neat because they yeah. can come check on their projects and they know that it's real quality controlled by, by us here. So yeah. we have a great team. So this is up here, um, and then uh, I'll take you downstairs. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. Down. All right, so what are we doing, Kelly? All right, so we're here on the factory floor. This is one of our injection molding machines, and what I have here in this barrel is resin, and this is a crystal styrene resin, uh, which is just in particles. They're like little kind of tic-tacs in size. What happens is this machine sucks up some of this resin into it, and then it goes through the pipes into here, into this steel mold, and you can see it actually just opened. And there's a part that's ready to be pulled off by the operator, Sammy. Um, and that is the base of our dresser top diaper depot. Nice. So this mold has been in production, just like we take good care of our machines, we take good care of our molds. And this mold's been around since uh, the mid and late 90s. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, same that's steel, crazy. same mold. Um, same, same design, but you can see now it's closed, which means that it's it's basically taking that resin and melting it, warming it, and then it has a cycle time. And once it releases, then it opens up, and our operator takes it off, and it gets cool. packaged on the other side of the machine. So that's wild. Everything happens. And like she's over here making, um, dishwasher basket. you know, the dishwasher baskets. That's Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lupe. Similar thing. So this is made out of recycled uh, plastic, which is really important to us. So we take all of our regrind and then pump it back into the machine. Uh, and the same thing happens where it pulls the resin in, sends it through the machine. Uh, this actually, it's a family tool, so it comes out in three parts that then have to be assembled together. Any cleaning that's necessary gets yeah. cleaned and then it gets packaged. So it just ran in cycle time. So there's never any downtime between cycles. So while it's, while it's popping out a part, she's actually assembling and getting it ready for the next stage. Cool. Yeah. Um, well, we will go look at... Um, Do you want to go to the product room? Yeah, we'll go to the product room the now. Product room. Let's see if we can trip up Jamie as we go. No, no, I'm going <laughs> to fall. All right. It's Jamie POV cam right now. So we are here in the product room now, um, and what's fun, and we're taking this to Vegas with us because we're dorks, um, <laughs> it is a basketball hoop built over the twister. I'm standing directly in front of you, and I'm blocking you completely. That's right. You want to shoot it? Well, I'm not. 
Contrary to popular belief, I am not coordinated at all. So I, I'm gonna do you underhand. Nice, no. you made it. In. But it didn't. But it didn't go well, through. We gotta, yeah. We gotta, like, I, I'm not good at basketball. Never have been. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Um, See, so you're good. Well, I'm closer. I'm cheating. Sorry. I'm not. This is like <laughs> slam it. This Dunk is like it. Dunk this it. is like a really, really different version of like the Bozo Grand Prize game from growing up. But it's like I, I'm not <laughs> even coordinated enough to do it that close. Oh, look, like me too. I'm terrible. Sure. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Um, so, we are going to show you, this is like the product room. Yeah. And it's everything that they make, and you can see all the different packaging, and they have everything set up. Oh yeah, the Illumipad, that I also love, love, love. Here, Gabby, you want to hit the lights? Oh. We don't, I don't know where Never the lights switch is. But this, empty. it's a changing pad with the light at the butt. As you can see, yeah. um, so it's super smart. Um, but this is where everything is down here, and you can see. But what's this on the table? So this over here. This is this is my love. This We're is gonna super hold on a second. Wait for it. <laughs> these there. Are the tubamoles? So these are brand new. We're gonna be launching them actually at ABC in just uh, what T minus a few hours. Um, and so. What, and the way this happened is we were going to do a bathtub, um, but I didn't want to just do another bathtub yeah. because all the bathtubs Let's that are infant on. baths, what do you do with them when you're done? They end up in the landfill, and you know I'm super conscious when it comes to manufacturing. We always try to do an extended use in all of our products so that you can use them for multiple siblings or, or they span the ages, and a dishwasher basket ends up washing hard to wash kitchen gadgets, yeah. and you keep it forever. So when, when it came to a tub, I wanted a tub that you could reuse that didn't just end up in the landfill when, when done. And so I came up with the concept of doing a bathtub um, that can accommodate infants as well as toddlers, but then also becomes a storage bin when you no longer need it as a tub. So this tub with, um, there's an infant hammock here that you can see uh, allows an infant to be bathed in it uh, to 25 pounds, okay. uh, which is great. And it allows you plenty of space to, you know, scooping cup and, and, and wash them securely. Uh, and then you remove the, the hammock and you can use it for a toddler. And it's just nice because like a lot of infant baths aren't big enough for toddlers right. to actually sit in. Right. And this is sizable. Like this is a good like bucket. Yeah. For and they, the kid. they feel comfortable, they feel confident because they aren't slipping and sliding in the mm -hmm. in the massive tub. Um, and they, they love it. My son actually in a in a similar size tub he wanted to bathe in it until he was four, four or five, which yeah. is old, but he felt secure and he's like, no, that's my space. And I loved it because California drought, it took so little time yeah. to fill. And then when we dumped it into a normal tub, it was like an inch, inch and a half of water. Yeah, and so, so you're that, using very little water, very little, which is great. Huge in California. And then the drain. So what I loved about these before I even knew kind of what was going on, and these are like proto samples, you know. So this, they have animal faces on them. So you have like a hippo, you have an elephant, there's a pig, there's a sheep, and a dog. Yeah, nice, right? nice. I'm good. <laughs> um, so I just think that's cute, and it looks like, you know, the feet of the tub, it looks like the animal's feet. The drain is back here in their butt, so it's anatomically correct. It is. So to speak. It's gonna, everything empties out of their rear end. But it has a lid. Um, so you can see here, when you're like done with using it as a tub, the lid goes on it and you can use it as a bin and the lid doesn't lock down so like you know if you have a sherry punky brewster moment where she's hiding and she gets locked in do you remember that did you I get do, that reference I do, I do. I'm very happy with that when it just came out um, <laughs> so if a kid goes in here they're not going to get trapped a but the the rim on here you can like it's a totally well-made thing so you're not going to like carry it and the lid's not going to fly off and then you can stack them up and they also fit under beds. Uh -huh. So we've had them all lined up under beds, a single bed, and it, they're great. Yeah, so they're just whether cute. it's whether it's toys, clothes, you know, uh, whatever, it's just fun. Yeah. So we, yeah, they're called the tubamoles. We've got the five different flavors of animals, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I think their butts are as cute as their faces. Yeah. I think it's hysterical that the drain is down on their butt. Yeah. It's pretty right. cute. And and when you flick out the little little plug. It looks like tail. It looks like tail. Especially on the pig. 
It's really cute. It's very appropriate. So, and then we thought, what better way to gift a shower than a tub of mold full of awesome Prince Lionheart stuff. Yeah. And we even have um, little rubber tub of mold rubber ducks, the not so duck rubber duck, um, out of our tub of mold animals that'll match. Nice. Um, super cute. And I mean, I, I don't know. I just feel, I would feel pretty awesome about I, showing up to I a baby I always give, all my friends know this, I always give baby shower gifts in bathtubs because it makes for a great thing to yeah. carry all the stuff to the super party useful. in. But then it's also something super they can cute. use. Yeah. Um, so I think this is super cute. Yeah, so we're yeah. pretty excited about the tub of mall. Um, it's, it's, it's fun, it's responsible, yeah. and it's... And, and it's, it's really also simple. Yeah. It's super it is simple. simple. Like, it is. Yeah. They're cute. Yeah, so we're super excited. So these are going to be launching at ABC. We'll be shipping um, in not too long. They're in production now. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty exciting. What are they retailing for? Uh, we're going to be out there probably about like a $34.99. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so it's going to be it's gonna be a good one. Good. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so it'll be fun. So we've got, yeah, the Tuffle Moles. Um, we've got a lot of new product launches right now, which is, as I was telling Jamie earlier, I've never been more excited about our product development, which comes out of the heads of my dad, my brother, and myself. Yeah. So all three of us have a product out there that is um, kind of our own baby. My dad took 14 years, long time, but awesome, well worth it. Didn't make Jamie puke of the twister. Didn't make me puke. Didn't make him puke. The idea makes me vomit, but the actual thing. <laughs> the moist and warm. No, no, no. <laughs> and then my brother has the Aluma pad, and then the tub of is my little baby. So we all have a product out there that we're super jazzed about, and we hope everyone likes them. And we've got more coming. Yeah. We'll have more little new products to launch at ABC. But, awesome. But this one's kind of like a, a big one. And it's just eye candy. It's yeah. just eye candy. It's cute. So we're pretty excited. So yeah. Like, all the moms are going to be Instagramming their hippo tub. Yeah, I know. Like, and gray is still, you know, a great color. Blue is like the bathroom color. Yeah. But, I mean, when you can put these in the playroom, because, I mean, I, I'm a mom. I have a playroom, and I have plastic bins that have, you know, like cracked on the sides. Or storage bins are all, like, pretty industrial, pretty yeah. pretty clear and ugly. Or, yeah. you know, just, like, the ones you want in your attic, not in your house. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And so, so, you know, for toys, like, I would much rather have a bunch of little Cute fun stuff. animals. Yeah. 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 So, it's good. It's going to be fun. So thanks for, uh, yeah. yeah, thanks so, for, for tuning in. So that's it. Well, I, well um, you need to do one last thing. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> one yes, last I thing. do. And you guys are going to want to see this. Yeah. he was kind of, we couldn't get him off it earlier. It's it's good. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> and then we're heading to Vegas. And then we're heading to Vegas. So we've got wheels oh. up. Yep. Yep. Get it.